Hare Krishna. Thank you for joining us this morning. Before we close, we will read uh, Raghunath Das Goswami's Prayers of Aspiration again for today. His aspirations in his internal mood of being the maidservant of Srimati Radharani. O oh, beautiful eyed girl, will I soon carefully worship your two lotus feet with jeweled anklets, the petals of your lotus feet with toe rings, and your hips, which are the sacred pilgrimage place of Krishna, with a splendid sash fixed with many bells. Will I humbly and blissfully place jewel-studded armlets on your two graceful lotus stem arms, which are expert at destroying the patience of Murajai's swan-like intelligence. O oh, fortunate girl, will this person someday worship your neck, which attained all good fortune when touched by the arm of the moon of Gokula during the rasa dance with the Graveya necklace. O beautiful faced one, after Krishna killed proud Shankachuda, he took the Shamantak jewel from the demon's head and he gave it to Balaram, the enemy of Pralambasura, who with a happy heart gave it to Madhu Mangal, who in turn with his own hand, gave the jewel to you. When will I hang this Shamantak jewel, which has become the friend of the Kostuba jewel in a locket around your neck? O oh, slender girl, your waist is so thin, it looks as if it could break. When will I carefully bind it with a new golden cord splendid with flower cluster tassels at each end. O oh, golden one, when will your nose, which defeats the sesame flower, receive from my hand the beautiful golden pearl that agitates the great bumblebee of Sri Krishna with his nectar? O oh, golden beauty, when by your order will I tie an amulet of nine gems upon a tasseled silk cord on your left arm. O oh girl with restless eyes, when will I place on your ears hoop-shaped earrings that make Krishna, who agitates all the gopis, aimlessly wander in a circle? O oh, fawn-eyed girl, when will I place a dot of musk on your chin, the temple of Mukunda's happiness? O oh, goddess, when will I decorate your teeth with red lines, making them look like pearls inset with lines of rubies? O oh, golden girl, May I color your wonderful nectarian lips that are red like bimba fruit with the lipstick of red kadira mixed with camphor, even though the Krishna parrot may appear at any moment and forcefully bite them. When with black eyeliner will this person worship your eyes which defeat the capricious wagtail birds and, and which, with the slightest movement of their corners, can in an instant tightly bind the regal elephant known as Lord Krishna. So divine aspirations. It's good for us to hear how our great acharyas aspire for service to Radha and Krishna to remind us that this is our actual goal. We want to perform our sadhana so nicely 
and become so eager for pure devotional service that Krishna reciprocates and he blesses us with that service. You know that Krishna says that I reward. He says in proportion to how they approach me, I reciprocate with them. So if we approach Krishna with this mood of wanting to serve uh, the beloved servants of Sri Radha, Krishna will certainly bless us, bless us with that uh, good fortune. Okay, thank you very much for being here. Um, Vrindavan is wonderful. Um, it's getting hot fast. I think that the temperatures have been going up to about 37, 38, maybe even more. It's, uh, it's warming up very, very quickly this year. I'd like for everybody to please pray for Ukraine. Please pray for uh, the nation. Please pray for all of the people. Please pray for our devotees there. We wish, as devotees, that everyone throughout the world can experience uh, auspiciousness and peace. But we know that that can really only be attained uh, perfectly through Krishna consciousness. In the Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna states, Bhuktaram Jagitapasam Sarvaloka Maheshwaram Suridam Sarabhutanam Gyatva Mam Shantim Richati. He says that if we wish to come to the platform of peace, Shanti, then we have to understand that Krishna is the only enjoyer of everything that we do. Krishna is the prime beneficiary of all sacrifices that are to form, be performed. And Krishna is the uh, beneficiary and one who blesses when tapasya is being performed. He says, if you understand that Krishna is the source of everything, then peace can prevail within your hearts. So we're praying for peace and auspiciousness and Krishna consciousness for all of the good people in Ukraine and um, Hare Krishna. So please keep your ears uh, or eyes attuned to social media. We will be informing when we'll have next kirtan over here. Uh, last night we had very, very nice group of devotees that came. We had wonderful kirtaniyas and we had such a, uh, a wonderful big group of devotees that came home. Today is boat festival at Sri Krishna Balaram Mandir. That's an extraordinarily beautiful festival. They take the courtyard of the temple, they completely fill it with water, and then they completely decorate that water in a really astoundingly beautiful way with flower petals. It's really, really beautiful. And then they have a swan boat and they take the small murtis of Radhe Sham on that boat and, um, and Radhe Sham travels in that uh, in that uh, lake in the courtyard of the temple and receives offerings. And there's always wonderful kirtan that goes on. So I believe that festival is starting at 5 p.m. this afternoon, Indian Standard Time. And probably if you go to Iskand Vrindavan uh, on YouTube, you can see that live stream something very, very beautiful. Okay, thank you all. Hare Krishna, I pray that everyone is well, and we will see you soon. Hare Krishna.